Hi guys, Susie Nelson with AffiliateMarketingInformant.com here with you today and welcome to my Pager Pro Review by Joshua Farima Jr. Kim and I spent a few hours going over this product and its training so that you don't have to. If you want to know if Pager Pro is going to be the world's most advanced 3-in-1 software, allowing you to create unlimited landing pages and websites while sending unlimited emails and SMS text messages, all while converting subscribers to customers with a two-minute sale, then you've come to the right place. In this Pager Pro Review, I'm going to show you exactly what they promised us. We're going to take a real look inside, tell you what you need to know before you buy, go over the OTOs and the pricing, and my personal opinion of PagerPro by Joshua Farima Jr. As your affiliate marketing informant today, I'll be informing you of everything you want and need to know about affiliate marketing. If you guys find value in this video, be sure to give us a like and subscribe down below so you'll know when our next video comes out. Also, feel free to comment. We'd love to chat with you. And if you're trying to make money online as a beginner affiliate marketer, then I have some honest and effective free training in the link in the description below. This training is incredibly detailed and shows you how to build a real evergreen online business bringing you traffic, leads, and sales. It's 100% free and 100% awesome. Go ahead and click the link. What have you got to lose? Let's get started. Here we are on the sales page where PagerPro tells us they are the world's number one most advanced business growth kit. They are a new three-in-one software that lets you build unlimited high converting landing pages and websites, send unlimited emails and SMS broadcasts to unlimited subscribers and turn them into paying customers in two minutes with zero coding skills required at a low one-time price. This sounds interesting to you. Stick with me because I'll be breaking it down. Here we are inside the pager pro dashboard up on the right is where you have your account settings and you can log out to the left is a three bar toggle switch where you can see your bonuses your support and your mailer pro down below you have all of your projects that are already done as well as domain if you would like to connect a domain that you already have you can click connect domain here. If you guys don't already have a free affiliate website and would like one, feel free to check out the video linked above or to click our link below. If you sign up with our link, we can send you helpful information once you're inside. So in the links below is a handy website domain name buyer guide to cover all the features you need, including branded email addresses. If we go back to projects, you have the ability to search, check the status, and also sort. Here is your upgrade premium button. Next to that is where you would select your new project. It takes you to a page that says choose a template for your project. You can either search, you can try by category, or you can start with a blank page. They do have all of these templates loaded in for us already here, and you can see They've got just about anything you would like. To get started, we'll just choose this one. We'll name it XYZ and click Create. We have a box that's popped up that tells us we have exceeded the total number of projects allowed for this account. To create another project, you will need to upgrade to a new plan. So that tells us right there that this is not unlimited without having to buy an upgrade of some sort. I'll cancel. We'll go back to the dashboard. I'll pull one of these and we'll take a look at editing. So when you come in to edit, it takes you straight to this page. I am not sure why this is not working today. It was working just fine yesterday, but on launch day, they have got quite a few problems. However, if this were working, you would pick out a layout that you like. You would click on the elements. If you click to the right, you would be able to go in and adjust them. Go to pages. This is where your SEO options would be. You would take an active page or add a new page. You would give it a name, a title, and type in a description. Make sure that is also chock full of keywords. And then you would put your page keywords in as well and update. Settings are the settings of this app. So you could change your template from here if you would like to change something and then the toggle sections for how you view inside this app. If you are into code, they also give you an option to come down to your code editor and enter your information in as well. Once you're done, you can preview it, download it, publish it, change the device so you can see what it looks like on a desktop or mobile. Be sure to check out Kim's video linked above called Nine Affiliate Marketing Strategies for Beginners, where she tells us we should always look at mobile first since most people consume social media on their phone. Luckily, this option gives you the app to check a phone, a tablet, and a laptop. Once you have everything the way you like it in here, you would save your project and it would bring you to this page with all of your projects already on there. From here, from here, you can edit, 
preview, publish, or delete. If we preview this one. You can see they have a broken contact us in the right. Clearly, this is just a test page that somebody did. You would need to go in and adjust every little detail to make it say exactly what you want it to say, like you would when you set up any website. We go back to the dashboard. On each project, it tells you what your website name is going to be. With go.pagerpro.com backslash sites backslash whatever your name is, you are now associated with Pager Pro. You are considered to be doing business with them in partnership with them and your brand is now tied to theirs. Are you okay with that? Once you have your page exactly how you like it, you looked at it, tested it, clicked on some buttons, sent yourself an email, make sure that it's working exactly how you would like it to. Once you've done that, you will come here and publish, and then your website is live. That covers all of the features that Pager Pro gives us. You may be thinking that we haven't gone over the email autoresponder yet, and you are correct. That is up at the top on the left with the three bar toggle button where your bonuses, support, and Mailer Pro are. You would click on Mailer Pro, and then you would need to sign in with your username and password and log in for this functionality to work, but it does send you to a whole different app for you to use your autoresponder. And that is Pager Pro. Now that we know what Pager Pro does, what makes it unique? There is nothing unique about Pager Pro. There are many other autoresponder and page builders on the market, as well as free options that you guys can try. Feel free to go to the description below. We will have two links, one for a free affiliate website and one for a free email autoresponder. If you guys do choose our links, once you get in, we can give you some helpful information to help you out if you're interested in that. But there are tons of free options out there, so make sure that you shop those. What do you need to know before you buy? First, let's talk about the importance of owning your own website. I found an article on dreamhost.com titled The Vital Importance of Owning Your Online content. The author of this came to this a different way than we're going to discuss today, but the information is relevant nonetheless. Jonathan LaCour, who actually works at DreamHost, used social media to keep his parents in the loop. Then one day he had an epiphany. What if Facebook went away or he left the platform? He has shared information through a third party and frankly, he doesn't trust them. He says, I still share through Facebook because it's convenient, but it's important to understand that there are rights you are giving up and that there is an alternative. Once he had that aha moment, LaCour started using his own website more. He recreated the Facebook's On This Day feature to scroll through memories. He linked that On This Day feature to his website, and then he pushed out all of his updates for Facebook and Instagram through his website because the place where the content originates and stays is on his site. So he's choosing what he's sharing with the world. They go on to tell us that many of us don't realize that the price we pay for using these free platforms is our personal information and even the ownership of the content we share. Most people think they still own the content they share outright, but once you put your content onto a third-party platform, generally speaking, that third party owns it. This varies wildly though, so content creators need to know what they're doing and the terms of service for each. So if we're talking about Pager Pro, I went to their sales page, scrolled all the way down, and found their terms and conditions. So to know what they can do with our information, we would need to click Terms and Conditions. And if I click this button, it takes me straight back to their sales page. So I have no idea what their terms and conditions are gonna be for this Pager Pro app. So what does owning your content actually mean? Owning your content these days means that you have complete control over the platform. In other words, having it on a website that you can manage all of the aspects of. For his own business, he has a WordPress site hosted on a third-party web host. That means that he can publish and promote his content however he likes, and he can move to another hosting company if he wants to. But remember, content isn't just your photos or blog posts, it's also your emails. Which brings me to my next point. Branded emails help you build your brand. Now, I can't talk to the functionality of Mail or Pro, because Pager Pro did not allow me to have access. But email is another interesting form of personal content. We see ads in Gmail, Yahoo, and many other free email services. This is a phenomenon where the large internet companies are using your browsing history to serve you ads. So how do you keep your email safe? He recommends that everyone have their own domain branded email to go along with their website. And bonus guys, it also looks significantly more professional if you're a business and you have a branded email address. So what are the risks of using 
using a third party to publish your content? Because like us, they agree that an accompanying email account seems like an unnecessary expense or headache. Is setting up your own website and owning your content really worth it? He spoke with Jillian Perkins, who is a business strategist at Aptus Creative Marketing, and Perkins tells us there are two main risks that you've got to weigh before making that call. The first, unless you have your content stored somewhere else, you could lose it at any point in time. And that's because most platforms don't guarantee your content will be safe. Secondly, by publishing your content publicly, Perkins explains you open the doors for anyone to take it and use it as they like, whether or not it is legal. So if a third party owns our published content, we want to make sure that that third party we're using is reputable. If we take a look at this article from automationbridge.com, about email marketing and how to choose the best autoresponder for your business, they tell us there are three factors to determine the best autoresponder. The first one is credibility. How long the company has been in business is a huge factor to take into account. Don't choose any provider that has not been in business for at least the last seven years. Pager Pro just launched today. When we clicked on Mailer Pro yesterday, there was a 404 error because they hadn't fixed the bugs in it yet. Do you think this is going to be a credible service? Next is deliverability. The effective of your email marketing efforts will be greatly dependent on your ability to land in your subscribers inbox. And third is going to be your user interface. They say this one is often overlooked, but you can tell a lot about the quality of a service to expect from the quality of the service provider's website. Again, if we just look at the sales page, we can't even get to terms and conditions. So if we look at Aweber, which is a reputable company that has been around for a long time, just on the beginning of their website, build a stronger connection with your audience. They have all the information you need. They have email marketing, landing page builder, web push notifications, and this is before you're even a customer. So you can tell you're going to get quite a bit of support. Millions of people use this. You can look at reviews. You can do searches to know if this is going to be the correct fit for your business. And is Pager Pro going to give us a two-minute sale? Two-minute sales are extremely rare. To answer that question, I found an article on digitaldealer.com called the rule of seven, how social media crushes old school marketing. It says if you've been in the world of marketing for a while, you've probably heard of the rule of seven. The marketing rule of seven states that a prospect needs to hear the advertiser's message at least seven times before they'll take action to buy a product or a service. So converting a subscriber to a paying customer in two minutes is very rare. This particular rule of seven has actually been around since the 1930s. It's a proven method. Now let's take a look at the pricing in the OTOs. Pager Pro on the front end, they tell us here that it'll be $14. They do have some early bird discounts and then price increases and then $2 off coupons. Then they tell us it'll go up again during the launch and then it'll go up again at the end of the launch. So they're definitely playing with some pricing on the front end. It could be anywhere from $14 to $17. Your upgrade number one is going to be $37. It's the Pager Pro Max. Upgrade number two is going to be $37 at the Pager Pro Template Club. Upgrade number three is going to be $47. Pager Pro plus Hostly Pro Commercial. Upsell number four is going to be $37 with Pager Pro and XPixly Professional. OTO number five is at $147. That is the Pager Pro white label. OTO number six is $297. I found absolutely no description for this one. And I found no description for what any of the others mean either. So we don't actually know what each OTO is going to entail. I know at some point you will get more templates. Maybe by the time you get to the second OTO with the template club. But it is not unlimited on the front end like they told us on the sales page. That being said, altogether, your total for Pager Pro is going to be $619. Now let's do some vendor research. Here we are on Munchai. You can see Joshua Farima Jr. is, is releasing Pager Pro on June 1st. We take a look at him. He's only got a few products out. This one launched February of 2019. Then we have the next two that have come out in 2020. And this is his first one for this year. It does look like he has another one slated for 19 days away. So I'll be interested to see what that looks like when it comes out. If we take a look over here on Munchai. You can see Joshua Farima Jr. He is out of Bali, Indonesia. Again, Pager Pro. This looks like his first product that he's launched, at least under his own name. He's made four sales, so there's no reviews yet. It does seem like he is a fairly new vendor. We take a look at him here on Facebook. Sometimes I just like to check it out. Looks like he is friends with Billy Dar, another product launcher, Rit and Gwen. Mosh Bari, Jason Fulton, David Kirby, Al Cheeseman. I am familiar with these names. Brendan Mace, 
Blinkowski, Udhav Pramanik, Ashat Gupta. These guys do launch products quite often, so he does seem to be connected to them somehow. Now, let's make sure we answer the questions we started with at the beginning of the program. Is Pager Pro going to create unlimited landing pages and websites? No. You can see when I tried to make another one that it said I had already had too many and that I would need to upgrade, so it is not unlimited. There is a limitation. Will Pager Pro send unlimited emails and SMS text messages into the Mailer Pro autoresponder application? So no, but it wasn't even working the day before the launch with the 404 error, so I don't have a lot of confidence that this is going to stay up and running for any period of time. And last but not least, is Pager Pro going to help us find the elusive two-minute sales? No. We discussed the marketing rule of seven. Most sales occur after five to seven times of your customer seeing you, interacting with you, and your product before they trust you enough to buy from you. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around this long. We've made it to the portion where you get my personal opinion of Pager Pro. First, I would highly suggest that you do some of your own research. Reach out for the free options and make sure that the company is a reputable company that's been around for a while and stands behind their product. Make sure that the support is visible and blatant and that you can access it whether you're a customer or not. Once you find one that works for you, as your business grows, you will have to pay for this. Most of the free plans are just for minimum to get you started so you'll know if you want it or not. Once you grow big enough that you need to upgrade, you can choose to upgrade to a different or the same, but plan on that being a monthly business cost for your business. Affiliate marketing doesn't have a lot of business costs, but some monthly costs like this are going to be expected and you will need to be able to pay for them and afford them so that you can grow your business bigger so you can pay for more. And my final opinion on PagerPro is that you don't need to buy PagerPro to increase your sales and your leads. Guys, I hope this PagerPro review by Joshua Farima Jr. answered all of your questions. If it didn't, feel free to comment below. I'll answer your question as soon as I possibly can. If you guys found value in this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe below so you know when our next video comes out. Guys, I have been as detailed as I possibly can in this Pager Pro review, and I want to remind you again to click the link below. We know where you are in your journey. You're fed up with buying shiny object after shiny object and upgrade after upgrade. This training will show you the real, honest way to build an online evergreen business, bringing you traffic leads and sales. Go on, click that link. It's 100% free, 100% awesome. What have you got to lose? Thanks for watching.